Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial requested by jbrianna03 and this tutorial is going to be similar to the barrel curls one that I did recently but it's going to be different because the curls are going to be smaller, um, tighter, more defined and fuller and my hair is going to be up in the back like that. So what we're going to use for this tutorial, I'm using my Con Air Instant Heat curling iron you want to try to get a one inch or smaller just so the curls could be smaller tighter more defined I'm gonna be using some hairspray and bobby pins and maybe um, a clip if you have a lot of hair you'll probably need a clip to clip it in the back so let's begin so I already have my hair parted with the bottom section and Remember, take um, small strands of hair this time. We're not going to take a big strand like this. So we're going to do the same method that I used in the barrel curls tutorial, which is wrapping the hair around the barrel like that. I'm going to apply the hairspray after I finish the whole section. I'm not going to apply the hairspray after each individual curl, so it will be easier. This is another really cheap curling iron that you can get that works really good. Um, the thing is, the reason why I like to purchase these and try these, you know, inexpensive curling irons is because um, you never know if they work just as good as one that costs over $100. So, you know, it seemed really good. I've read reviews about it. So, I mean, you can get it like at Walmart, Walgreens. Um, and I think it cost me the most would cost you is about $20 I think I only paid about 15 and it has um, heat settings that it can go up to it gets really hot and it works really well I would say invest in purchasing an expensive flat iron rather than an expensive curling iron Yeah, you want to make sure your hair is combed down, you have knots in it, so that it won't get stuck. So I'm going to pause it, finish the section, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished the section, and I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And try to let it air dry for a little bit, because they're going to be wet. 
And then you want to go ahead and part your hair again and get another section. Go ahead and do the same thing for this section. I'm actually going to post up the picture that I'm trying to imitate um, somewhere in this video so you guys can see what I'm trying to recreate. Alright, so once again, I'm just going to finish this section and then, hey guys, so I went ahead and finished turning my whole entire hair and it should look something like this very curly very big and full and make sure you spray it so they can stay and last all day so the next thing we're gonna do is take a bit of hair from the side take a bit of hair from the side like this and it's gonna be like we're doing a ponytail back here so we're gonna Brush it up with our fingers. And make sure you have a hair ponytail back there. That's where you bring up from um, the sides. So, what you're going to do is to the side. And what you can do is you can take the hair, you can push it up, the curls back here, and pin it with bobby pin. Just bring a few, um, some of the hair to the front. So this is kind of what it should look like. And there it is. It works out well for you. Um, I have to say this hairstyle takes time because you want the curls to come out nice and full and you don't want them to fall out during the day so it takes time. Just take your time and go full out on this hairstyle and it comes out really nice. So I, I recommend you try this.